This is question number 7.3 of Devore, chapter 7. Let us try to read the question and try to do it ourselves. Suppose that a random sample of 50... Excuse me. Suppose that a random sample of 50 bottles of a particular brand of cough syrup is selected and alcohol content of each bottle is determined. Let mu denote the average alcohol content for the population of all bottles of the brand under study. So mu is the mean alcohol content of population. Suppose that 95% confidence level is given to you as 7.8, 9.4. Would a 90% confidence level with the same sample be narrower or wider? Okay, try to understand this question. I have also told you this question last time also. In the last question also, question 7.2, we discussed this. That as your confidence level increases... So what happens beta? The area under the curve increases, right? So suppose this is Z alpha by 2 and suppose this is 95% confidence. So if you will be going for 99% confidence, it will means that you are covering more area. This will be your corresponding value for 99% confidence. So the value of the Z, this is Z, the value of the Z, which covers this area that will also be more so as your confidence increases the value of z increases right and since your sample mean plus minus z into standard error since this is your confidence interval This is your confidence interval. So as this Z increases, the gap increases. The confidence interval becomes wider, right? It becomes wider. So we can go ahead and we can say, we can go ahead and we can say that if I compare 90% confidence interval against 95% confidence interval, this would be wider. And this would be smaller, right? So this is done. So just go ahead and understand that the Z value for 90% level is 1.645. And that of 95% it is 1.96. So whenever we are adding or subtracting the Z, in one case we are adding or subtracting 1.645 which is when you have 90% and in the other case we are adding or subtracting 1.96. So from the sample mean, ek mein humne 1.96 ko add subtract kiya standard error se multiply karke and in the other case we are just going and ahead and adding and subtracting 1.645 standard error. We are adding and subtracting 1.645 standard error. So the, the width that you will be having in this case will be smaller and the width you will be having in this case will be larger. Okay, second. Suppose that the statement there is 95% chance that mu is between 7.8 and 9.4. Is this statement correct? This statement is not correct. Please try to understand that we are not saying that there is a 95% chance. We are saying that if we keep creating such confidence interval, then out of 100 confidence interval, if I keep repeating it, then 95% of the confid of the samples will contain the value of this mu. Right? Try to understand what we are saying. So we are saying, suppose this is a population, right? And out of this population, I start creating samples, right? Then 95% of the samples will have the true value of the population. Is this making sense, right? So we are not saying that 95% chance is there that it will be within this. We are saying 95% percent of the pop samples that we create 
you know, they will go ahead and they will enclose the value, right? Okay. So this is a false statement. Come to the next part. Consider the following statement. We can be highly confident that 95% of the bottles have a content between 7.48 and 9.4, right? So try to understand that this is also incorrect. We are creating, we are creating this confidence interval, which is giving us an estimate about the average value. It is telling us what, where will mu lie? It is giving us the, the where will this average lie? It is not telling us about general case. Try to understand this thing. It is not telling us about the boundary of population value. It is not telling that, you know, all the alcohol content will be between will be between 7.8 and 9.4. It is not saying that all content, all alcohol content will always be in this, in this gap. It is not telling us this. It is not saying that, you know, whenever you will pick any bottle, its content will be between 7.8 and 9.4. No. It is saying that if you start picking up sample bottles, then from the population from which they come, the average, the mean in 95% of the cases will lie in this region, in this gap. So we are talking about the average value. We are giving, we are giving interval about the average. We are not saying that if you pick any random bottle, so its alcohol content will always be between this. Its alcohol content can be 6.8 also. Its alcohol content can be 10.7 also. But when we find the average and estimate about the average, then we are telling an interval about the average. Try to understand. We are not telling about the boundary where the value can lie. For example, in your class, if I say that in your class, the average marks obtained by student is 40. Does not mean that everyone I pick up will have a marks of 40. Students can score less than 40 or more than 40. But the average, we are giving an estimate about the average. Similarly, this confidence interval is giving an estimate about the average. It is not going ahead and telling about the upper and lower boundaries. Come to the next question. Consider the following statement. If the process of selecting a sample of size 50 and then computing corresponding 95% interval is repeated 100 times, 95 of the resulting in intervals will contain mu. Is this statement true or false? This statement is also incorrect. Right? So usually it does not say 100 times. Usually according to theory, it says that Usually, according to theory, it says if we repeat the process infinite number of times, right, then 95% of those will contain mu. We don't give a specific number here. The theory just goes ahead and say that if we repeat the process infinitely large number of times, then 95% of those intervals will contain the true value of mu. But many books will go ahead and will consider this large number to be 100. So many books will go ahead and say that if we repeat this 100 times, then 95 of those interval will contain the true value of mu, will include mu. But usually the theory does not talk about 100, 150, it does not give a number. It simply says that if we repeat this process in finitely large number of times, then 95% of those interval will be containing the value of mu. I hope this question is clear to you. Okay, beta. Thank you.